Welcome back to my channel Quest for Knowledge. This is me Nahma and today we are going to go through with the summary of The Sporting Spirit written by George Orwell. George Orwell is the pen name of Eric Arthur Blair 1903-1950. He was a famous English novelist, essays, journalist, critic who wrote in lucid prose about social justice, totalitarianism and democratic socialism. Literary criticism for his forte. His famous work include Animal Farm, 1984, The Road to Wagon Fair, Homage to Catalonia, Coming Up for A and others. In this essay, he throws light on the sporting spirit and culture prevalent during his time. It also re forces readers to look at sporting spirit in modern times. So now we are going to go through with uh, the sporting spirit of the ancient times and in the modern times and the mentality which have been changed from over the years so the sporting spirit written by george orwell we have the theme of pride nationalism jealousy hatred passion passion okay taken from his shooting an elephant collection the reader realizes after reading the essay that orwell may be exploring the theme of pride and nationalism so we conclude sports with pride and nationalism so or Orwell argues that the sport played by either side may not necessarily be the utmost importance. So sport, so here or, uh, Orwell is arguing that sports is a sports. We should not conclude it with nationalism, patriotism and all. So after that, whether it is a football or boxing or cricket, the driving factor is not to be beaten by another nationality as by doing so one may lose face. It is also possible that Orwell is suggesting that sport is taken far too seriously. Nowadays we are taking sports very very serious concern. So more than taking it as a sport, as a, as a sporting spirit where the winning and losing is a matter of a game. But now we are concluding, we are adding it to our uh, nationality, our pride and all. So we are taking too serious to this. And in urban areas where individuals may not have an outlet for their energy, the fact that the Arsenal team is mentioned by the Russian as being an all-England team is also interesting as it highlights the reader that fact that Arsenal do not wish to be beaten by a foreign team. So it is like, likewise it is thought the element of fun has been taken out. The sports we play is just for the fun. But the fun we have taken out and we have taken it too seriously. So what Arsenal says that it cannot get defeated by any other country's team. So it is kind, creating a kind of a separatism more than bringing unity, more than bringing a pleasure. We, have, we play it, the sport is for fun and for uh, happiness but we are taking it into more seriously and we are separating rather than uniting so after that who attend sporting event trying their best to, to disrupt the opposition so who and all the audience who are visiting they are going on booing the other okay they are uh, suppressing the other simply they are creating a kind of a disrupt to the opposite team so that is also not good sports is a sports where winning and losing is a matter of a game we have to accept as it is but we are going too serious which is not good after that orwell argues that there is an element of savagery among those who attend sporting event something which some critics might suggest is an example of excessive pride for one own team so we are being so so firm with our own team we have such much uh, following one only one team so that the other team uh, to the rest of the team we try to uh, suppress them we try to uh, disrupt them which is not good even in the olympic games held in germany in 1936 are also placed under a spotlight by orwell Many historians looking up the games as, as like a agent, okay, as an event between Hitler and Nazi. So how Hitler and Nazi, they are such a, uh, such a enemy to each other, like that they are taking each team as enemies. So where is the fun? Again, the fun that one may have playing football or any other sport on the local green is no longer. It means we are taking so serious that there is no fun remain in the sport. Orwell also suggests that the sport has become a big business. So as such, the owner of the team dictates what happens. So owner of the team are ruling to what they want to see. 
that that will only will happen in the sport so where is the sport where is the fun to participate it has become a business those who play football for example are the pawn of the owners they are just the puppets of the owners of the football club as to or the fan who pay the ticket price to watch the game so our wells introduction of box, boxing as an as an example to back up his point is also significant is also significant why because box as he views those who box against someone of a different color as being purveyor of the white supremacy for example when a white boxer win it proves in their eyes that the white race are far superior to black race why we are bringing race into this sports for example when a white is winning over a race they feel that the white race is more superior than a black and boxing in particular appears to bring out jealousy and hatred among those who watch it sports is to be played with discipline and there is there should be a team spirit okay but we are bringing it as a hatred as a jealousy and we are bringing race caste creed over the game which is not good Orwell also di- disagrees with women attending boxing matches on the ground that they get too emotional though some reader might suggest that this is true it is more likely that a female sex spectator is allowing herself to be passionate about the sport she is viewing orwell theory that women are too emotional does not really have any logic behind it and in today's term may be viewed upon a as sexist though this may not have been orwell's intention and he was only drawing from personal experience why because during his time in his army overall orwell does not shine a fa- flattering light on the spirit of sport before and all there was no uh, there was no uh, the that much of importance was not given to sports okay there was no positive for it once it becomes a divide between different town cities or country Be- people of the ancient people they doesn't give that much of encouragement to the sports they thought it it is a division of town cities and countries and all now orwell compares the participation in sport as being similar to war without the weapon so now he's telling that the participation to sports is like participation in war after that orwell compares that there is no such thing as friendly rivalry nowadays it is no such thing as friendly rivalry the business of sport is far more serious and dangerous okay and he says that the modern sport and about the ancient origin before and all they 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 it took it as uh, like no importance to especially to the uh, mod- uh, ancient people they didn't give more importance to this sport but now modern days it has become a, a very very much financed business and the people and the sports player are the puppets of the owners of the clubs after that orwell is also suggesting that the business of sports is far more serious and dangerous it may also be a case that orwell is suggesting that individual have misplaced loyalty or pride so we are not taking it sports as a easy going game we are taking it to as a loyalty and pride and all and they are after all whatever we may take it but they are after all playing a game where there is winning is also happen and losing is also a part of the game anything could happen but if we take the game too seriously then what so in orwell what it is better to put that to put back fun in back into sport and not to have any emotional involvement so he says that it is better not to put any kind of a emotional involvement into sports we have to take sports as sports and that is the sporting spirit and that not to be concerned about who should win or who should lose what the meaning of winning might be for those at the event and uh, it is human nature to idolize a football team a boxer or a cricket team 
one wants their team or sporting hero to win at all cost which may be the problem if you are following a fan if you are a fa- if you are following fan following it is not a problem but if you want the your idol only to win all the time is a big problem why because he's playing a game at the end where winning is also a part of game losing is also a part of game you have to simply watch and enjoy the game but not to take it so seriously so take it as a pride of the country it is not a pride of the country it is a game we have to take it sport as a sports and that is the real sporting spirit after that arsenal play an all england team they are in many way cheating in order to prove themselves better than they really are why because winning is so important nowadays they are even using by hook or by crook method so the motivation being not to lose face to a foreign team as there is a matter of national pride at stake in some people eyes it is better to cheat and win than lose with dignity so now nowadays no, most of the people doesn't want to accept to lose with dignity so they are ready to win uh, anyhow by cheating as well so why because they are they feel that we don't want to lose in from any other country's team from foreign team should not defeat us like it is what it is kind of a war or word our uh, country's uh, our full country is in danger if we don't lose if we don't win so it is not such people don't remember who came second or who lost in life it is only the winners who are remembered and who have bragging rights for the time being so whatever if they are winner just for the time being they are winner so but they it is a it is a mentality of the people that the second comers and the people who lost people don't remember them okay for the winners also they remember only for the time being no they don't remember forever it is just a time it's a time being a, a thing of time so that is it so here the orwell is trying to say about three things one we have to take sports as a sports winning is lose winning and losing is a part of game and we should not take very much emotional to it we should not take it as a uh, our nation's pride our nation's uh, and we should not be so loyal if we are loyal in fan following you have to be loyal whether it wins or lose but what do we do if it wins we we are like enjoying celebrating when it loses we are make a statue of such players and we hit them with the sandals and we just fire them out this is all not good this is not the correct sporting spirit so sport is a matter of fun a play where we need to maintain decency and we have to play with dignity win with dignity and lose with dignity and that is it that is the real team spirit I hope this video is helpful. If you found this video helpful, do subscribe, like and share it with your friends so that they could also score maximum and uh, that is it and do comment me in the uh, comment your suggestions as well. Thank you very very much.